Four pediatric hospitals in Ontario are seeking help from the province to deal with a major backlog of surgeries there. Thousands of procedures have been delayed because of a spike in flu and respiratory cases. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick is following that story in Toronto. A report from the Canadian press today says the backlog for surgeries and procedures for kids in this province is about 12,000. And about half of those, the kids are waiting longer than the clinically recommended uh, wait times. Now, the backlog was already a problem thanks to the pandemic when surgeries were cancelled because of it. And in recent months, pediatric hospitals in this province have been struggling thanks to the surge in respiratory illnesses and viruses that meant kids swamping emergency rooms and ICUs, unfortunately, in this province. And that prompted some hospitals to cancel surgeries so they could redeploy staff from the OR to the ERs and the ICUs. Now, in terms of some examples of these wait lists, we know from McMaster's Children's Hospital in Hamilton, they say their wait list is over 2,000 kids right now. In 69% of those cases, they're waiting longer than the recommended times. Here in Toronto at SickKids, their backlog has grown to more than 6,000 patients waiting for surgeries and procedures. To fix these backlogs, to tackle them, leaders at these hospitals are saying they want to see a major investment from the provincial government. One idea, SickKids says, is to work with community hospitals potentially they could do some pediatric surgeries and procedures to take the burden off pediatric hospitals. So the Ministry of Health, Ontario Health, they're working with uh, sick kids on this idea, trying to identify what procedures might be able to be done outside of the pediatric hospitals. Other strategies are being employed. In London, for example, the Children's Hospital there, they created a separate operating room in 2020 to do more minor surgeries, and they say that's worked well. They'd love to be able to ramp that up if they have the resources. They say one of the major barriers to ramping up the surgical capacity is staffing. They need highly trained operating room staff, nurses, other health care workers in order to be able to do more of these surgeries. They're asking the provincial government for more of that staffing, more of that funding so they can help clear this backlog. Megan Fitzpatrick, CBC News, Toronto.